Out shopping, doing some pandemic shopping over here. I'm gonna show you my haul. I'm not playing, they're about to shut us down again. Who don't wanna believe it, that's up to them. But I know that um, uh, come September 15th or September 13th, some of us are gonna be shut in. And I'm gonna be sitting my ass over on the corner because we're gonna be um, in that segregated level again. So it's, this time it's gonna be the vaccinated um, versus the unvaccinated. That's the segregation. Vaccinated versus the unvaccinated. So um, I'm here doing a haul and preparing myself. Okay, so this is my pandemic haul. size of this car for you yeah all the basic soap okay guys so we have the soap we have brillo because we got to clean them pots heavy cream for our pastas and cream sauces yes all this stuff is going down freezing storing for such time so we have the bell of the ball three the hard way over here this is our ginger our cayenne pepper and our turmeric the cayenne pepper for the capsaicin in the pepper that heat and the capsaicin boost the immune system all right that's the cayenne pepper the ginger we're going for the ginger all in the ginger that uh creates that flamey fire if you should start coughing or sneezing or feeling like you're coming down with a cold jump in and get your ginger going get your ginger tea you got to get that 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 um covid virus before it gets to the lungs and then we have uh, um next is turmeric we're going for the curcumin in turmeric which is a inflammation buster that is vital to beat covid oh yeah another staple in my house that's the habanero cheese you see right there sitting on top of some uh, spicy italian sausage and bacon and of course oatmeal what's a house without some oatmeal in there i'm talking about just the plain old-fashioned oatmeal that you can add whatever you want to it all right here it is guys staples for our next shutdown Just take a look, a good look at these items. Lemon. Yeah, coming in with paper towel, flatbread. And there goes uh, my pitted dates. That's, a, that's what I use to sweeten a lot of things because I don't really use sugar that much. So um, when I want some sweet, there goes the shredded cheese. And I'm telling you guys, staple, staple, nothing fancy. Staple is what we need. I got some nuts here. This is um, cashew nuts and almond, raw cashew and raw almonds. I could toast them, salt them, sweeten them if I want to. Lots of flatbread. We could do pizzas. We could get creative over here. My baby salmon. My vegetarian boy. That well, I tell him he's not vegetarian. He's fishitarian. He don't want to eat vegetables, but he'll eat fish and seafood all day long. That's his salmon portions over there, and um, that's the way to do it. Pandemic staple, I guess. Pandemic staple for Jamaicans, oxtail, uh, Uncle Ben Rice, lobster. 
Oh my God, 15 pounds of oxtail. Couldn't tell when last I buy oxtail. And for the pandemic, all oh, I go buy oxtail. So you, you want to tell me they couldn't trim the fat off, right? Them sell me $8, $8 and $9 a pound oxtail with the fat pan. Is it not trim? Seriously? Gotcha. No, man. My muscles are free. And, this is $140. What a fat. This is ridiculous. But when I do this too often, this is a a, 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 a pandemic special. All right, story of food. Keeping in theme with our pandemic special and storing our food. This is my um, Kalaloo garden and I'm going to be cutting my Kalaloos. Actually, I've been cutting all summer and um, storing, storing our vegetables for the winter. So I have tomatoes, I have Kalaloo, I have kale lots of kale over there I've been storing all summer and um, you know what I learned yesterday from watching a, um, a video with Dr. Sebi and he was talking about how nutritious the Kalalu plant is and how much it's a super super um, super herb super vegetable super vegetable and he's saying you see these Kalalu seeds here he says these things are so nutritious because yeah, that's what the Kalaloo started from. If you should cut, cut the Kalaloo seeds off and make like a nice vinaigrette and make a salad, and how much that, how good that is for the system and for the body and what the, the nutrients and stuff that you get from that. So you know who's gonna be trying that right now. So just giving you a little sneak peek we're not just storing supermarket food we're storing garden food as well for this shutdown that new york is expected um to have come september 13th according to our mayor i don't know who that i leave these people our daddy where them can dictate to people when you shut down when you stay in I, I don't know who leave them people here but anyhow what i'm saying when you in the room you have to do what the romans do so what i'm gonna do is store my food because nobody not gonna catch me and no long line i don't do that i never did it the last time because i was in a position where i was a manager and i was feeding other families that didn't have but guess what this time I'm storing my food ahead of time. Nobody not catching me out there on no long line. Very sorry. Anyway, guys, you guys can take my advice or you can wait for the long line. Either way, stay safe. COVID variant Delta is rampant. And just to let you know, guys, it's all about the food. Boost the immune system. Nothing else is going to help you nothing and guess what it's up to you to make that choice with that walk good